Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Steam, the Steam Team. Team. I'm Ken O'Connor. I'm Josh Brand. And we are continuing our adventures to the moon. Oh, that hasn't gotten old yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in our last episode, we tried changing Johnny's memories so he could complete his dream of being of going to the moon. But? But for some reason, as we keep trying to give him the memories, it's not working. So we're going back to his earliest conceived memory. We must make it work. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some simulation to be brought up, huh? <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh no, the space-time continuum, oh no. Oh. Moon. It's a movie. About the moon. They made the movie about the moon now because you... Oh, what the... This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. All right, let's go then. That is. Oh boy, that's deja vu. <laughs> Hopefully, that's enough for ignition. It's a good song. Wait, where's Neil? He's watching the movie. <laughs> You're here by yourself. Uh, I could explain. <laughs> to the moon, darling. Oh, Henry. <laughs> Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. <laughs> Guess I should go see if anything's changing, John. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Oh, God. To the moon, <laughs> darling. To the moon, Henry. And things are still the same. You're from the agency. It's all the same. <laughs> I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Move, bitch. Lily! Oh, stop taking my lines! Sorry. Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. Oh. Oh, yeah. So she threw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys what? doing there? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Hey. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. To the moon. The moon. Hey, you don't squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an assembly. Ah, piano. Sing us the song to the moon. Sing us the song tonight. I wouldn't be shocked if they modified it. <laughs> Wait a minute. This isn't a real change, this is... May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Oh, it's... <laughs> As you know, I'm a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it to me! <laughs> well, that was fantastic. <laughs> wow, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering why you are here. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring into another realm? Do an the Venus of Venus to swim in a counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn? Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon? The moon! Well, here at NASA, we believe that, w that in with enough will, everyone has a potential. It could be you, it could be you, or you, or perhaps you. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to go to the moon. Oh, that's him. Then you're in luck. Okay. Wait, what? You're, why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't, don't, don't you want to go there even a, a little bit? No, why? <laughs> <laughs> not even a tiny bit. Um, no? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon! <laughs> to start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. Pride. Pride. Wait, no, it's not pride. What is it? Crime and punishment! That's what it's based Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Pride of Prejudice. Good book. <laughs> crime and punishment. <laughs> punishment and crime. <laughs> That's yes. all for today's class, folks. <laughs> and did you know that the surface is just about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon, punishment and crime. Stop it. Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. <laughs> wow. And last but not least, people, people, oh, people who go to the moon get rich and famous and get river. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. <laughs> <laughs> so, that concludes my presentation. <laughs> On the moon! Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> and named John. Or Johnny. Especially if you're, it, it's you. <laughs> you. You, that, that one. See, now that would be a family guy insert right there. Well, what'd you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm. I do try pretty hard. Are you going to go see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. Comes right back. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Oh, back. And? Utter failure. <laughs> <sighs> Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there's still things to be done. Such as? Well... Pride. <laughs> Crime. Crime. Prejudice. Pride. Pride. Prejudice. Prejudice. And Crime. pride. <laughs> we can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. You don't understand. We can barely afford. But you can afford the Lunar Trip Lottery! If you sell this house, you sure can. <laughs> I feel like they're just like trying everything they can now. Is this the diagnosis, certain? Oh, gosh. In fact, we very. <laughs> Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? <laughs> it's true for both you and your spouse. We're not married yet. <laughs> Free pony ranch is back! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a wedding. Good for you. But here's a riddle guess where you, can, you should go for your honeymoon? Uh, <laughs> honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> They're just like flailing now to like moon, 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 moon. <laughs> Some urge to go to the moon. River? River? River, my darling. Where are you? Moon! <laughs> <laughs> Dynamic glass slippery. <laughs> Johnny, John, John! Aha! <laughs> what the cucumber? <laughs> You. you know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We were we were freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for this job, for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd be an all-night... That, yeah. That we'd be an all-nighter. That's kind of weird. I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. <laughs> what movie? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> anyway, as valuable as time is here, this is just this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully, Johnny can hang on until then. Dies. Mm. I do have some calls to make. We want. Beaks Bop, Zilla. Anya, my love. Just a dirty old lighthouse. Oh my god. It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered with wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred yet. There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless the secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. It's River. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. 
There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? So because her, he loves River, he won't go to the moon because in every memory, he has to leave River to go to the moon. Mm -hmm. So she's causing him to... Ah, the sun's rising. So the only way to get him to the moon is make him basically forget River, I guess. No. Think if, if River's not in the memories, he can go to the moon. Every time... Just make Anya into a spaceship. She'll go for it. <laughs> Just launch the lighthouse. <laughs> I'm telling you. We don't have much time left. And I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Let's go find out. Great Scott, I got it. This is getting sad. I can already feel it. And I will always go to the moon. <laughs> Ugh. Can you can tell the squirrel and he'll run over all the way from here now. Wow. That's a smelly squirrel. Where are those kids at? Is that real time? No, uh, right? No. No. How is Sean doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? <laughs> what is it, like a deaf doctor? Barely <laughs> hanging on! What are you two doing? We just, we just couldn't make any progress. You better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Sir, yes, sir. Better make me a sandwich. Wow. Kitchen was... No, to the right, down. Yeah. Table for... Uh, Amina? No, no, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter? Where did you get... Th uh, where did you get that uh, coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarters? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now shush. Hold on. Sassy McSaster scene. <clears throat> I thought I left this at Johnny's bed. Oh, yeah. Where'd you find that? I thought you shh me. Temporarily unshushed. Oh, ain't I lucky? Well, I found the rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There's a bunch more of them there and in the basement, too. Ah, hmm. Alright, resume shush. Shushing. My eyes. So that's the last rabbit river ever gave John. Go to the basement. Oh no, it doesn't have the arrow. You can still go down. Neither, neither does the stairs. You can also oh. go down. That's the music box. He can't walk in there? No. I would hurt the rabbits. Alright, never mind. Hmm, what's over here? What does, it look, what does that look like to you? Uh. <laughs> bags, <laughs> bags. Bags. Or bags. low hanging fruit. <laughs> The chest is locked. Hmm. Come on, old man, give me that key. I don't have it. <laughs> but Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. Jeez. You didn't even do anything. You could have checked out the room. No, I'm following her. What about on the table? Right? It's a phone. I really shouldn't should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance, I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? If 
future. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. So what are you going to do about... Tell, wait, what are you going to tell them about John? I, I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as, uh, might as well. It's their nature of life. There's something. There's nothing to hide. You know, it's pretty un unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. How did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were, they were the last uh, batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny was my, I saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to oh. help them get back on their feet? Oh. They do. And eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place, too. And so we stayed. And so for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down he really wanted a family. Oh, hey. Hello. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would be, you'd probably be coming. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. You're welcome, Lily. You're welcome. All right, well, since our good friend is still on the phone with headquarters, Oh, he's done. <laughs> well, we'll find out what he has. To, we'll find out what he has to say next time on the Steam Team. Until then, I've been Ken O'Connor. I'm Josh Brem. Join us next time as we continue our playthrough of To the Moon. See you guys next time.